expectations in the Philippines. Everybody that comes here has expectations. Some are unrealistic. Some are well-grounded. Uh, the guys that have visited the Philippines maybe in the uh, when they were here in, during their military days in the 70s and 80s maybe uh, are more better grounded in what to expect here. Guys that are just coming over here for the first time, uh, they have no clue. That's why it's suggested by many expats that um, to get, get over here and get some boots on the ground and do your due diligence and, and discover the country before you make a lot of uh, uh, irrational decisions. Now I might have just picked the bone of contention with some expats that have moved here uh, thinking that I just called their decision to move here irrational. That's not what I mean. Um, what, what I mean is to understand that this is not like living in the West. From health care to restaurants to customer service to bowling, <laughs> which I'm about to show you, um, it's just not the same. And if you understand that from the very beginning, uh, you'll have a better go of living here in the Philippines. Again, too many expectations lead to frustrations. Many, uh, many guys who have never come to the Philippines and, and come here to settle without spending all that time on the ground uh, learn real quickly that it's not what it's uh, all made out to be. Um, a lot of bloggers, including myself, I'm, I'm guilty of this. We have a tendency to sensationalize everything there is about living in the Philippines. A few months ago, we, uh, we left Samar and drove up to uh, Marabellas in Bataan and, uh, to visit my wife's sister and her husband. And uh, we thought we'd uh, take, make a day trip to Alongapo. And while we were up there, we ate some good food and uh, decided we were going to spend the afternoon bowling. Well, our little excursion into the bowling scene in Alongapo didn't end well. Um, and I'm going to show you here in the video, but uh, it's a good example of uh, why you should not expect a whole lot. I, mean, I always say, expect the unexpected, you'll be pleased. Crystal Lanes, Alongapo. This is uh, manual, manual. No electronic scoring machines. Paper scoring. Open windows. And they're looking for balls right now. We gotta find balls so we can bowl. And we have a scorer. So we have to have a pin boy. The pin boy. We're waiting on the pin boy. And there's the pin boy entering the entering the room. Don't hit the pin boy with your ball. Now do keep in mind that the family thought this was all normal. On the balls. All four of them. Holes. I need big holes. There comes the big hole ball. Still can I get my fingers in there? Not going to work. Not today. We've been told to go upstairs. And they have more lanes upstairs. So that's what we'll do. Go upstairs. More convenient, she says. It's more convenient to climb more stairs to the bowling lanes upstairs. Ah! More lanes. Still manual scoring. And I still don't see any balls. You see balls, Kate? After finding out that they don't have bowling shoes, we decided to leave. You have no bowling shoes. No shoes, no. Huh, 
Okay. Thank you. So there would be no bowling this day. And as it turned out, we went the following day to Angeles City and found us a good bowling alley at the mall. Back in the day, McDonald's wasn't here. We're going through the back entrance and this comes out on McSyside Boulevard. It could be a famous electronic bike. Yeah, huh? only in the Philippines. Only in the Philippines. <laughs> That's right. Did I have my hat on or off? I've always said, if you're gonna to move to the Philippines,